I'm Steve Chappell, and welcome to Elk Camp. I was really looking forward to this hunt with Mark Ulrich. You know, he and I had been talking since about 2016, and he really wanted to hold out for a great hunt in a great unit. And so we really settled on Unit 9 here in Arizona. And this past year, he joined the Zero Hunt Fees program, and as luck would have it, he drew a tag the very first year, and he drew the Unit 9 muzzleloader tag. And I knew it was on, and I was ready to go out and call in some awesome bulls with Mark. Hey guys, good to see you. Hey, good Mark, see you, nice Steve. to see you. Steve, Mike, good to see you good again. To see you, yes. Got a hat for you, Mark. Lucky Ooh. Elk Camp hat here. We're just going to change right now. Yeah. Tell you what, the bulls are bugling great. I was a little slow on the archery hunt, but the rut's in full swing right now, so I think we're going to be able to call in some bulls for you, Mark. Good. Fun. So how's that CBA muzzleloader shoot? <coughs> Real good. Um, practice with it at least once a weekend, if not twice a weekend. Six to eight shots. Okay. We'll try to get them in as close as we can yeah. for you so you don't have to worry <laughs> about distance. Yeah, I see you guys just got here, so I'll go ahead and let you guys get settled and uh, we'll go out and do a little scouting and listening tonight. We're looking forward to having a great hunt with you guys. Great. Um, looking forward to all of it. So on opening morning, as we always are here at Elk Camp, we were really excited to take on this new hunt. All right, it's opening morning of muzzleloader season here in Arizona. We got a foggy morning, but the bulls are screaming, so we're looking forward to a great morning at Elk Camp. Been looking forward to hunting with Mark for a long time, so it's gonna be fun. I went out in the dark. Um, bulls were bugling around, which got us really excited. Sure enough, as we hunted, it was like we were making an Elk in the Mist video that morning. Uh, so we were able to move in on some bulls, uh, get close to them. Um, you know, the footage was kind of neat with it being in the fog. Well, I've been anticipating this hunt for 19 years. So uh, this is the culmination of uh, a life dream to hunt here. And uh, the addition of Steve Chappell has uh, made it all perfect. So after we looked at one bull in the fog and he moved away, we decided to hustle and move to a new location. And uh, no sooner had we gotten out of the truck and I blew a location call. <coughs> and a bull fired off within, gosh, two, 250 yards. And I could just tell by the intensity of his bugling that he was gonna come to the call. So we got set up real quick. Um, sure enough, that bull was bearing down on us. He was answering every call on the trophy wife. And uh, all of a sudden here he came off a ridge top, breaking out of the fog. And I could tell he was gonna come right down in our wheelhouse.
as you will see, um, we played with bulls every day. Some of them weren't big enough, but we played with bulls every day. And so um, it's just, uh, it's a dream come true. He's, I mean, he's right down wind of us, I think. That's the kind of elk I like right there. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles. Our barrels make the difference. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. We call the game. Zeiss Sports Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. And by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles. Our barrels make the difference. That evening we went back out. Um, we actually went to the area where we had started opening morning because I had seen a real nice trophy bull in my scouting um, that I really wanted to get Mark on. But as uh, the evening progressed, um, we heard some bulls bugling off to the west of us quite a way, so we had to pick up and start moving in that direction. I'm over. Starting. Okay. They will push their way into the wind as they come down, you know what I mean? So we need to keep going to the west to cut them off. And it seemed like everything was just pushing into the wind like elk do. Uh, so we had to hustle and, you know, kind of catch up to them. And as we were moving along, I was just calling every so often. <laughs> And uh, lo and behold, all at once, we heard a bull bugle off in the dark timber off down below us. And I thought at that point that we were close enough to him that we'd go ahead and set up. He had a real, um, what I call a chimpanzee or ape type bugle. And so I was really looking forward to see what this bull would look like. You know, as he approached us, he kind of took a different angle and wrapped around to our right and, uh, you know, came up a lane where we didn't have a real good look at him. Um, but he ended up wrapping around behind us and uh, got to stand up and take a look at him. A real nice bull, but again, not the kind of bull that we wanted to uh, fill Mark's tag with on this Arizona elk hunt.
Hey guys, I'd like to introduce you to my brand new Heartbreaker Elk Call by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. Now this call is somewhat similar to my other open reeds, however this one has an aluminum barrel which gives it a very unique, distinct sound. Now I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking that aluminum is going to make it sound really loud and possibly harsh and brash, but actually it's just the opposite. It actually has a very rich, full, three-dimensional nasal quality to it, and it's just what the bulls want to hear during the rut. It's also got a nice, grippy, soft touch finish. So if you're wearing gloves out there in the field while you're calling, it's gonna feel very nice and soft and grippy in your hands instead of slippery. Guys, again, this is my new Heartbreaker Call by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, available at your local sporting goods dealer or online. Thanks very much and best of luck on your hunts. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with Zero Hunt Fees. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Zeiss Sports Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. Let's go chase some bugle and balls and have some fun this morning. We'll do. All right. Early on in the hunt with the rut in full swing and the bulls really bugling hard, you know, we got the opportunity to call in and look at a lot of bulls. And, you know, on one particular morning, um, we got set up with an open meadow. We were just in a little oak thicket there without a lot of cover, um, but I thought I would give it a try with as hard as the bulls were bugling. Steve's ability to entice a bull to come in and look for a cow is just incredible. On the archery hunt, the success that I was having calling was mostly with herd bulls and it was bugling to them because we were getting in tight and I was blowing that lip ball bugle and they were really responding aggressively and coming right over. Um, but then on this uh, muzzleloader hunt, we were encountering big trophy bulls that were without cows and they were cruising looking for cows. They were still ruddy and bugling and we were capitalizing on that. Thank you, sir. I think I stayed on him just enough with the calls to get him just hot enough that it made him stupid and he came right out in front of us. So. Oh, he was looking for love. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to do, you know, the smart thing, even though it's hard to do, and back out and give him several hours because if we go down in there and push him and he knows he's being pursued, he's, he's going to really take off. One thing I've learned over the years through elk hunting time and time again is that you can never assume that a good hit is good enough to kill a big bull like this one. I'm often reminded about the importance of shot angles and shot placement. In hindsight, I wish I had held Mark off from shooting 
until the bull got more broadside and I had stopped him with a call for the perfect shot. But you know, as they say, hindsight is always 2020. Okay, so this is right where Mark shot from this morning. Yes. And uh, we kind of marked this morning where the bull went in. So we're gonna go ahead and walk straight across over there now that we've got our spot and got it marked over there. And uh, hopefully he's just inside the tree line with the base mark. All right. We gave the bull several hours and searched extensively for him, but incredibly, he never even bedded down and we never found him. Although Mark's shot was good, I could have done something different to make it even better. And again, I can't stress enough how important shot angles are, especially with bows and muzzleloaders. After the long search and considering that this could very well be Mark's last opportunity to hunt elk in Arizona, I decided to resume the hunt. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles, our barrels make the difference. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, we call the game. Zeiss Sports Optics, confidence in the toughest conditions. And by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees, experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, we call the game. This morning the wind continues on this hunt, um, but we do hear a bull bugling up here. We had to wait until a little bit after light to actually hear something and I called and we got a bugle up here. It sounds like he's maybe about a half a mile away, so we're gonna go up here and check him out. When it comes to the hunting style that Steve has um, during these uh, rut hunts, it is uh, in some ways completely foreign to me because I have never got to hunt during the rut before. Steve um, has an uncanny ability to know which bulls are worth going after and which bulls we need to ignore. His ability to bring elk in with different bugles, both cow calls and bull calls, it's just been incredible, um, an adventure in itself to see all these different bulls come in. Real, that real heavy sound and when I stopped bugling for some reason. It's right in here, maybe just a as we got up to the top of the ridge line and I cow called on my trophy wife call with the wind blowing really hard. We heard a bull bugle off in the distance about 300 yards away and I could just tell by the energy level of his bugle that he was gonna to come to the call. So we went ahead and set up in the shade right on the edge of a burn right in front of us, and I could tell right away by this bull's response that he was on his way into the calls. This beautiful 7x7 seven seven came right up in our wheelhouse, but once again, we looked at him close and decided that we would go ahead and continue hunting for a better bull for Mark. 
This, this trophy wife call on this hunt is absolutely tearing them up. It is elk poison right now. It's, it's nuts how they're responding and coming to it. Archery hunt, I was doing a lot of bugling, but on this hunt, they seem to really be coming to the cow call. Well, even with the fog, wind, and some tough hunting conditions, we've still managed to enjoy some great encounters on this Arizona muzzleloader hunt. And there's much more action still to come. Join us again next week as Mark's hunt comes to an exciting conclusion here at Elk Camp.